Welcome to the DRZ project and in this video I'm going to share with you some cheap supermoto mods for, uh, for supermotos. I'm going to be talking about my bike which is the DRZ 400S converted to the supermoto. Um, these mods are going to range from mm, like £5 to about £80 so nothing major. Um, I will do a separate video on performance mods but that's another kettle of fish so um, we'll just stick to aesthetic visual mods in this video. Uh, this will be a set of videos, maybe two or three, uh, this being the first one. The reason this is set is because there are so many different types of cheap mods you can do and I haven't done all of them to my bike yet so I'm just going to uh, do them as I go. I might not, um, might not keep them all on there but we'll see how it goes. First cheap mod I'm going to talk about is the Tail Tidy. This is a must-have accessory for a supermoto, in my opinion. Um, stock tail pieces are absolutely disgusting, and I hate them. So a tail tidy is a must-have. I've got my stock tail piece here, and look at the size of it. I can't even get it in the shot. Look at that. It's awful. So big. On my tail tidy, it comes with a few different styles of tail light. So if you look here, I've got a smoked one as well. Focus. There we go. This is a smoked one. So that looks really cool. So yeah, must have mod. It's about 80 quid. Um, really easy to fit. Um, and definitely worth doing. Second part of really cleaning up the bike is uh, replacing the indicators. This is a mod you can do, it's real cheap. Uh, probably looking at about 20 quid, depending on whether you want to wait from uh, China for shipping, because the uh, cheap indicators are from China and you have to wait two, three weeks, but about a 20 pound mod. Um, essential in my opinion, because third to stock tails and stock exhaust indicators are the most ugly things on the bike, the stock ones. You can have the most savage looking supermoto put stock indicators on there and it's ruined. Look at the size of that. They're the size of spaceships. Horrible things. I'm being a bit harsh. If you want to keep them, keep them. But, um, but in my opinion, definitely a mod worth doing. Um, if you put LED indicators in like this, you're going to have to uh, put a resistor relay into where the um, the old relay is, uh, otherwise they'll flash way too fast, so that's just something to be aware of. Coming around to the front of the bike now and looking at the front end, a really neat way to give your bike that aggressive supermoto look is to replace the front mudguard with a universal one from eBay. Uh, they're about 20 quid, four bolts to take out, four bolts to screw this one back in and they're just uh, underneath there really nice way to um to make the bike look much more aggressive because if your bike was a um was a dirt bike style a dual dual sport crosser type thing when it came out of the factory um angled towards like more dirt bike in the road then the front mudguard is likely to be big enough to bridge the grand canyon absolutely huge they are. I've got mine here. Just look at that. Absolutely massive. Right the next thing some people are gonna say this is this isn't a mod and it's probably not to be honest but I'm gonna include it anyway because it's really fun and it's a cheap thing to do and that is spoke skins or spoke guards whichever you want to call it obviously I've only got one on at the moment it's yellow um, I'm not convinced I want to put them all on um, I think it looks quite cool with one on wouldn't match in the yellow plastics but it's about a tenner for a pack of spoke skins off, um, off eBay or whatever online um, they are a right nightmare to fit though real pain it took me and my friend hours to fit um, to fit them to a previous bike. I'll actually put a picture up um, on the screen now of a previous bike where I did have spoke skins on. That looked really cool. I loved it on that bike. 
Yeah, it was such a nightmare to put these bike skins on. It took so long that um, that we actually wrote a poem. <laughs> so we must have been trying to put these spike guards on for hours. Um, it is really difficult on 17 inch um, spokes. Well, they're not 17 inch spokes, but you know what I mean. 17 inch rim spokes. And we were just sat on the garage floor. We had had 20 cups of tea. We weren't even halfway there. So <laughs> we wrote this poem. This is a good few years ago now. Thy faces of men who cry and whimper and fall under the pressure of spoke guards. Why spoke guards? Why spoke guards? Thy hands of men who cry are torn. Why spoke guards? Why spoke guards? Morale is as low as the tide that washes their strength. Why spoke guards? Why spoke guards? Time is limited. Why spoke guards? Why? <laughs> Ridiculous, I know. But it was that desperate. Anyway, moving on. Okay, last bit. Oh, that sounds nice. Don't know if you can hear that. Oh, tasty. Anyway, last but not least, um, this is another one that's not really a mod. Crash sliders. These are skateboard wheels that are on a threaded rod that runs through the axle and bolted on with two bolts here. Yeah, this is a practical mod as well as kind of a cool looking one because these act as crash sliders so if the bike comes down you're not going to scratch um, you're not going to scratch the swing arm up and on the front you're not going to um, see the one on the front but you're not going to wreck that fork you're just going to scratch these skateboard wheels up so um, so practical it does look quite cool it's quite well just back here it's different it looks quite ghetto um, really cheap though so if you don't like it you can just undo it it's just a the axles are hollow and the threaded rod runs through fine threaded rod that um that fits through your axle get kind of four bolts for each one so eight in total because you need to double the bolts up so they don't come off um some washers and skateboard wheels uh these skateboard wheels were on a skateboard line about the house so i've just sprayed them gold um and just put them on really see the one at the front here Looks quite cool. So a quick recap for cheap mods for supermotos. We had the tail tidy. One of the more expensive ones, but definitely worth it. Indicators, definitely worth it. Round the front, the universal fender. Looks really cool. If you can get it to work with your colour scheme well, then it's going to look savage. Spoke skins, just because they look cool and they're a bit of a laugh. And if you do put them on and you write a poem, please let me know that poem because um, when you do it you'll realise how long it takes and you just get a bit delirious really. And skateboard wheels. Here are just a few cheap mods that I've run through today. Uh, there are going to be, there is going to be, I should say, um, one or two more videos on cheap mods. So this will be cheap mods video one. Um, so stay tuned for those videos to come.